Next up for Man United is Crystal Palace on Saturday. So this will be a pretty difficult match. Palace come into this in quite good form, but they haven't played for almost two weeks. So that could be an edge to Manchester United, but they will have a lot more fitness. They will be more rested for this match. Meanwhile, for United, we're just coming off the back of reaching the League Cup final, beating Reading as well. So United back to good form after losing against Arsenal very late on. And it has been very, very good in recent weeks for Man United. So let's have a look at the predicted lineup for United in this match. So this is the team I think Eric Ten Hag will go for in this match. It'll be David De Gea in goal. Of course, Tom Heaton played midweek against Nottingham Forest, made a couple of good saves and he looked like a very good understudy to De Gea, but De Gea will return in this match. At right back, it's going to be Aaron Wambasaka With Delo out injured, Wambasaka's form has been nothing short of fantastic. He really has come in. He's looked very good on the ball, very good defensively, and we needed him for this run of matches. Delo is back in training now, but Eric Ten Hag will not throw him in straight away against Crystal Palace. Centre backs are going to be Varane Martinez. 16 clean sheets already, one of the best defences in all of Europe, and Varane Martinez will start once again. They are such a very well balanced centre back partnership and they really complement each other well. At left back it's going to be Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw played well against Nottingham Forest and his form over the season has been fantastic for Manchester United. Moving into the midfield it'll be Casemiro holding down the fortress of course. Casemiro looks so so good against Nottingham Forest and it's great to have him back in the team. Playing alongside him it's going to be Fred. Now there is the added caveat of course that Marcel Sabitzer has signed for Manchester United and Sabitzer will no doubt play plenty of matches between now and the end of the season but I think Eric Ten Hag will look to ease him into the team I don't think he will start this one at number 10 it's going to be Bruno Fernandes he had a very good match against Nottingham Forest without putting up a goal or an assist his overall game was fantastic and he played some lovely lovely passes in that match forward line it's going to be Veghorst through the middle Martial returned with a goal against Nottingham Forest but I think Eric Ten Hag will stick with Veghorst as he looks to build up Martial's fitness. Off the right will be Anthony. He had a pretty frustrating match against Nottingham Forest, but he had some very good moments in that match as well. And off the left is going to be Marcus Rashford. 18 goals, 8 assists already this season. He really is doing fantastically well. And in this match, he will be the key man for me. So Rashford will be the key man in this match. His form over the season has been absolutely fantastic. He really is having the best season of his career in terms of goals and assists already. 18 gold, 8 assists this season, so 26 goal involvements in 29 matches, a fantastic return for Rashford. He came in off the bench against Nottingham Forest and without playing particularly well, without smashing it up, he quietly put two assists away and had a very solid game. And that is the story of Rashford's season, he is just producing, no matter his, if his performance is good or bad, he tends to find the back of the net or find an assist somewhere and that is so so crucial. United need more gold and Rashford is the most important gold threat in our team. So looking at those underlying numbers, we see a player in great form this season, really backing himself, having a lot of self-confidence. We're seeing 1.1 key passes per match so that is a pass leading to a shot on goal so Rashford really is creating from that left hand side while still being the most important goal scorer at the club moving into the shots per game as well 2.6 so Rashford really is backing himself to score he is confident and he looks like he wants to score every time he's on the pitch and of course he's averaging 1.2 dribbles completed per match so he's beating a man more than once per match on average so Rashford's confidence his overall ball playing and his progression his dribbling and his shooting has been top top standard this season he will be the key man in this match for me going up against crystal palace he will potentially have space on that right hand side hopefully they will not be tracking back too well with their wingers and united can get in behind and rashford really can offer up a real threat to that crystal palace backline as well it would be appropriate to talk about the new signing to manchester united marcel zabitzer of course has joined from bayern munich on loan until the end of the season there is a full video up on the channel if you guys want to check that out after i will leave a link to it just above and of course zabitzer could feature in this match i don't think he'll come on and necessarily start 
start the match but I think he could be involved off the bench as potential um, replacement for Fred in this one overall his game is very solid he's a creative player he really works hard for the team he puts a lot of tackles in covers a lot of ground and is a very good presser of the ball he offers a lot of what Ericsson does in the offensive sense in that he's a great creator but he offers a lot more in terms of being aggressive looking to tackle win the ball back Christian Ericsson a little bit passive of course this season Sabitzer will be combative he will jump into tackles and he will get right up for it and he will be a great setting for United and I'm very excited to see how he performs in his debut if indeed he makes it in this match so having looked at all that there are key ways United can beat Crystal Palace the first way that United can win this match in my opinion is looking for cutbacks we've seen it very well in that first goal against Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park the ability to cut the ball back into a man in space will be definitely aided by Vout Veghorst in this match he is a natural magnet for attracting defenders to him they expect the cross and that leaves space for other players the likes of Bruno Fernandes Marcus Rashford to pick the ball up on the edge of the box and get a shot off a goal that is United's best avenue for success hitting them on the counter as well as a real option Palace will come with pace speed and try to play direct United can get in behind if we win the ball back off them quickly so with all that in mind it's time for prediction time so I think this will be a difficult match I think United having played of course so many matches and Palace having two weeks off will definitely be a factor in this match but I think United will win I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Manchester United the goal scored by Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes so that's my predictions get your predictions down in the comments as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel and you want to join in with a fast growing interactive community here on the United Philosophy there will be daily videos for the entire month of February so stay tuned for much much more coming up thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one